Hi everyone, and welcome back to Water Child Tarot. I'm your host, Sarah. And today I have a relatively straightforward walkthrough. I'm not going to do a ton of talking, uh, believe it or not. Um, but I wanted to present two versions of the Jean Noble Tarot for you. On the left, we have a historic version restored by um, Joseph Peterson. Um, it's actually not that retouched, but it is slightly cleaned up and it's reminiscent of the original cards that are in the or French National Library. On the right, we have the Multi Marseille, which is a redrawn, recolored version of this deck produced by Tom Benjamin and recently released. Um, now, Tom has done a complete walkthrough on his channel, and I might have just let that go. Um, I had mentioned that I acquired this deck in my March video, so I've already sort of promoted it a little bit. But I was actually curious to look at these two side by side and why not do that on camera so that you all can appreciate these decks together as well. I will give you a little bit more production detail. These are from the packaging. So the Peterson, again on the left, just mentions that this is one of the oldest, um, he calls it the oldest Marseille. I think there are some, maybe the Medellin or some other decks that have uh, since been more thoroughly researched that might be a bit earlier than 1659, which is the date that he attributes. Um, but as you can see, you know, this is an older deck. And here Tom Benjamin tells us a little bit more about what he did for his deck. It says, adapted from the Jean Noble tarot, this modern recoloring keeps the familiar style of the original, but more accurately reflects the modern tarot community in culture and body types. Line work, adaptation and coloring by Tom Benjamin. And then he mentions that this is released under a Creative Commons license. So, um, and there's more information about that on his website, but you could essentially download the images yourself, print this yourself if you wanted to at home or on another service. Um, I will mention briefly that Joseph Peterson sells his deck on his Etsy shop, and I'll link that below. Tom Benjamin sells this deck directly through Make Playing Cards as well. And he does not take any kind of a profit off this. He's simply um, selling it essentially at cost. Um, and it's make playing cards that essentially gets the money just for the production cost of this deck. So I thought that was appropriate. Um, I agree with Tom that um, diversity should not be something that people charge for, particularly white people um, who are adapting artwork from other time periods. Um, each deck comes with some extra cards. Uh, the uh, Joseph Peterson comes with an original version of the magician which has some uh, some of the art is missing i have the restored version in this deck um, but he also has this title card which tells you a little bit more about the deck and um, about his reconstruction these some of the swords cards um, are not extant in the original deck so each person who releases this have to has to kind of create their own swords cards based on what the original uh, original cards look like for the other numbers. Here Tom Benjamin uh, says, you know, just a little bit about himself and his other um, tarot projects, his YouTube channel, etc., which again I'll link down below. And I should mention that Tom also includes a number of other um, cards in his deck on how to uh, read tarot, and here are some of them. I'm not going to show them on camera because I think this is nice added information and so if you wanted to know this you could buy the deck yourself. Um, and he has produced this deck with original backs. I will say that Peterson also has original backs. Um, they're slightly different in scale but they both have this kind of cross hatched cross um, type of graphic image in a sort of elongated hexagon shape. I do know that one of the things Tom Benjamin was trying to do was not create a situation of accidental blackface by just adding pigmentation to people's faces in this deck. He drew redrew a number of the folks with darker skin tones here to um, be more, have the features that would typically go along with the skin tones. Um, if that make, if I'm explaining that clearly, I hope I am. Um, so, in other words, he redrew the faces to make um, to make them more diverse in multiple ways. Um, and there's more than just skin tone diversity or ethnicity here, um, which we'll see as we go through here. 
I'm not going to point them out, but that you know you will be able to spot um, some differences. So uh, with that, I will just get started on the flip through. Here's our fool. As I mentioned, the Joseph Peterson comes with an original um, magician card, which has the wand and part of the hand missing. So this is the restored version that he also includes and that I use in this deck. And I like the color palettes in both of these. Um, the one on the left leans more to that classic primary color uh, type of palette, but I don't mind it so much because the yellow is softer, the green is more of a forest green, and um, the pinks are not in the flesh tones, so people don't look like boiled shrimp. Um, on the right, we have Tom's choices, and uh, and I like them. Um, I will say that this, what would be light blue in this deck normally, is um, definitely a, a violet color. It's a distinctly purple color rather than a blue. Um, so that's not just my camera. Um, that's what this deck looks like. One other production difference here is that the Peterson has sharp square corners and uh, Tom Benjamin's deck has slightly rounded corners for, I think, you know, fits with people's taste um, in terms of shuffling and not feeling like you're getting poked by the cards quite as much. And other than um, adding in the diversity elements to um, his deck, I don't see that Tom has strayed from, you know, the line work um, of the original very much. It's quite true. This is not a printing error on the world card here. This is um, a intentional choice with the different skin pig pigments on this figure. I find it interesting that the noble is clearly from the Italian school because you get um, the clubs, the Italian style clubs on the ace and the court cards, but then it has this more what we think of as the traditional Marseille um, batons for the numbered pip cards from the 2 to the 10. So it's a hybrid in that sense, or a, you know, progression, I guess, of art style. So here you get, instead of dark blue and light blue, you do get two different colors, sort of a mauve pinky tone in the background, and then the saturated lavender color for what would have been a blue. And here's our Italian style baton, our club.
You know, it's funny, it's right in my face, but I never noticed that this leafy greenery was here in this cup card before. I don't know how I missed that. It's really funny. It just it just occurred to me that like this looks like a bowl of salad with a castle on top. Um, isn't it funny how you notice these details sometimes after multiple, multiple times looking at something? You're like, oh, look at that. The other thing that I can appreciate about both of these decks is that they are not on a stark white background. So Joseph Peterson's deck is a slightly parchment sort of yellow background. And then Tom Benjamin's has a slightly warmer, almost peach uh, tone to it, but they're both, you know, still light enough that the other colors pop out. And um, yeah, but not so bright that it looks odd. And keep in mind these would have been used for gambling and card games, so that's why you have the numbers here so you can quickly see who's won a particular hand. Oh, Tom's changed this uh, floral decoration here. I haven't seen that in any other cards or interpret it differently, I should say. These are the fabricated designs that each person has to come up with. So yeah, slightly different uh, choices between our two card makers, but that's fine. there's quite a bit of detail, particularly in these court cards, you know, all the different things happening on the ground, all the different pieces of the uniform or the, um, yeah, style of dress here. There's a lot of little details. Both of these have nice cardstock. 
The Joseph Peterson is a little bit more stiff, but they both really shuffle nicely. Tom's changed the Queen's uh, headgear here to more of a turban style, which is interesting. All right, well, there you have it. The Joseph Peterson uh, classic museum piece, um, Jean Noble Tarot, and Tom Benjamin's modern redrawing recoloration. What did you think of this deck? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Do you have either of these, both of these? Are you more interested in um, getting a copy of the Noble with this modern recoloration? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.